So um, <laughs> this is a follow up to the story of the NYPD rookie cop that gave the lap dance to the lieutenant. Uh, she's speaking now, so let's see what she got to say. I do want to apologize to the lieutenant's wife. Um, you know, I am sorry. Tr truly, I am. And I really hope it didn't, you know, cause too much damage in the marriage. It didn't cause too much damage in the, in the marriage. marriage. Or in your personal life. I know it's been rough. I've been seeing the articles and I've been seeing pictures of you guys all over the newspapers as well as mine. And it, it, it wasn't meant to be like this. I really had no knowledge of your marriage. She capping. Mm -mm -mm. She capping. Everybody knows who's married at work. She is a liar. Um, I like, again, I'm sorry. And as far as the lieutenant goes, I am sorry. Um, you know, it, it, you, you, you. it was supposed to be for fun shits and giggles and you well, know i feel like i completely ruined i guess his picture as a lieutenant as a boss i know it doesn't look good on him at all but um i do apologize you know everyone was having drinks we were all dancing you know nothing out of the ordinary uh me i'm the life of the party when it comes <laughs> of course she's the life of the party <laughs> down to it i i do like to have a good time but oh we know it came down to the end of the party where a, co a colleague there was a chair and it always goes down at the end of the party <laughs> and you know i can't recall but there was like a, people saying you won't do this or this ends me i i took on the dares are you serious this is a grown-ass woman in a room full of cows man she's talking about they dared me and of course, her being her, the life of the party, she took on the day. This is crazy, man. She sounds like a little high school girl. Um, and I did. I grabbed the lieutenant. Zach. She grabbed the lieutenant. <laughs> he can make a good argument with his wife and be like, listen, she grabbed me. Like, you know, it was out of my control. I'm down and I pretty much hit the lap dance that is seen worldwide now. I couldn't grow the courage to go back to work. So um, they did accommodate me in working from home for... How do you work from home being a cop? For this week. So I have been working from home. Um, I'm not sure what's to happen after this, but um, they've been supportive. I have great I have great people at that precinct. Um, very supportive, you know, saying it, it, they feel bad and this was blown out of proportion. We blown out of proportion? You don't ruin this man's career, his marriage, his life, because you couldn't control your drinks. And don't get me wrong, he's at fault too because he allowed it. But she did state that she grabbed him, so it was against his will. So he probably didn't want to get, you know, me tooed by refusing or something. You never know nowadays. I mean, you know, her her father was talking about suing the police department for what her daughter did to the lieutenant in front of everybody. But um, it just got out of hand and it happened so quickly. As far as going back, I would love to go back. Um, it's hard. Like I said, I feel like there's just judgment and shame that shouldn't be there Maybe. that shouldn't be there of course it should be there i don't know if you haven't seen a police uh a police car in new york city but it has three letters written on it uh cpr it stands for courtesy professionalism and respect so i mean where was all of those things when you were giving him the lap dance well i mean it was courteous it was professional that was a professional lap dance and um you know the respect part i mean you know, you got away with that one, too. <laughs> Even though there's a lot of support. But I feel like now my name's out there. My photo's out there. We all know who you are. And it's a small prison. We cover, like, a mile of area to patrol. And it's like, I feel like now everywhere I go, people are going to know, oh, that's the girl. She gave the lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's the girl she gave the lap dance. <laughs> If I sit here in the streets, I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> I got a chair right here. You know, how professional is that? I got a chair and a bottle of Henny. Like, at the same time, like my work, me, my work self, and then off duty for two different people. I and that's the problem. That's how, that's what a lot of people think nowadays. No, it is not. You are the same person everywhere you go. That's why you got to be professional everywhere you go because what you do outside of work will come back and bite you in the ass. And it happens all the time. People think they can live double lives. When you represent an organization, a company, the police department, you got to make sure that when you're out there living your life, being yourself, you're thinking about your job because it will follow you back to work. I can still 
p- patrol and police the streets the way I used to and the way anyone can. I feel like I shouldn't be judged or anything of that sort because of a lap dance that I did when I was off duty, not in uniform. I feel like it was at a, at a, at a party for the precinct. So like just because mainly I'm a female dressed the way I was being a rookie, things were different. Had it been a man doing it, I feel like it would have been more of a joking matter. And it would have. Uh, no, a man would never do that because we're not stupid stayed in-house versus go public the way it did with me crazy no accountability at all that's insane